come to the projector, automatic object can place robots on the conveyor belt. So here we design the conveyor belt in a vertical manner. So these are the slots within holding the objects. For example, we can use this in real time like bakery or any other serving system. So here when you place the objects, we want to continue placing the objects here. And one more thing, this is the main uh, table. So when the customer place this box and bowl on this one, so this corresponding sensor will detect the plate and inform to this microcontroller. So here we are using the big microcontroller one. So this microcontroller will read the data and it will start operating this conveyor belt till uh, the object will enter into the in front of the robotic arm. Then the conveyor belt will, will stop automatically and this arm will pick the object and place in this bowl. Right? So and it has a three servo motors, one that is the base rotation one and another is up and down focus and another servo motor for opening and closing one. So here with these three servo motors were interfaces to this microcontroller. The main advantage of the servo motors is it will give the feedback to the microcontroller and the microcontroller can rotate the servo motor till a particular direction. And coming to this one, this is the IR sensor, IR obstacle sensor which can detect the object which are placed on this conveyor belt. So let's go with the demonstration one. So initially if you place the servo and arm in any other direction, so it has the initialization setup, it should be in front of the conveyor belt. So presently there is no edge or there is no request from the sensor end. So initially the arm was set up here. So when I switch on this one, okay. arm was placed in the position one. So when I place this object, this my uh, request is the customer's came. The buzzer will be indicated and automatically the conveyor belt started reading one. Okay. So when the object was came to the picture. position and here my microcontroller will give the buzzer till the so called customer should let the plate away. Let me give the buzzer again. So we we'll go with the one more demonstration one. So actually we need to place an object in the convert. Right. And the buzzer will be given the continuous buzzer, continuous one. So when the customer remove this plate, automatically will be off. And when the another customer came to the picture, automatically this conveyor belt started reading continuously. As we can see that, right? Thank you.